Attic Rodent Disaster, and here's why. Before we take you up in the attic, we're the fifth company to come out and tackle this massive road infestation in the attic. In fact, a week ago was the last company that installed and replaced brand new insulation. When we removed it and did our inspection, you won't believe what we found. We were here a couple of days ago, and as we were walking, we had two rats. They came up here running along this tree right here came up here, jumped up to that higher branch, and then jumped right into the gutter there. Yeah, the infestation. Rats are just going everywhere around the outside perimeter. Look at this dead rat here. When we were doing the perimeter walk, rats were going underneath this landscaping here and uh, having the edges walking around the perimeter of the property. We found this uh, exterior tankless water heater closet door. The rats were coming into here. Uh, through this area, which doors is a huge entry point. Look at that big gap right there, massive gap. And then at the bottom as well. And so what they were doing is they were coming into the closet and uh, they were getting obviously inside the closet. A lot of feces there. Gotta be careful when there's pex piping like this because they love pex piping. They also were nesting or doing a lot of uh, activity on top of the tankless water heater. So we'll get all that cleaned up. The other rodent company used a lot of foam. Now one good thing about if you're going to use foam is you want to use the combination of the net and the foam. You don't ever want to just use foam alone because they will chew right through it. Right, so here we are. This is this a, a great, great attic, attic to work, to work here. here. Absolutely. Well, we want to show you before we get started, uh, we could show you some obvious signs of the runways here. So they utilize the electrical here. This is a long runway all the way to the back. You can see brand new insulation with rat feces again. I mean, these rats were really pooping. Look at this. That's a big one there. Another one there. So. Definitely one of their main highways right here. Look at that. Look at this runway here all over the electrical. Yeah, you can even see they're running right on top of the HVAC duct here, which we're gonna enzyme treat and wipe all this down so it's nice and clean. Yeah, so there's that runway. It comes all the way across this way. And they set a trap up here. And bam, they got one. This is just about a day old here. That's a big one there too. Even with all of this brand new insulation, it still, still smells, smells like, like rodent. rodent. Yeah, the reason why this attic still smells is because they took the brand new insulation and did not vacuum, left a lot of uh, rat defecation. You could see them here and then look at the light fixture where all the urine and rat hair is. They just left everything. So all of this smell is just coming through. So we're going to have to pull a lot of this area out where the runways are and vacuum and sanitize. So let's get, let's start over there first. Okay, guys. So we're going to take all that insulation out. What we're going to do is remove it, vacuum, decontaminate, put the insulation back, and then uh, electrostatic fogging over the insulation. So that'll be our process today. Yeah, that was good. The, these vents are notorious for rodents coming through because they discharge to the outside and they dump right in here to the uh, attic so they got this again they use a uh, foam and and wire mesh here's part of that run here so they've been sitting on this duct and chewing this up here see we're uh, cleaning all the gutters rodents love to uh, get up in gutters because it's a, a safe place safe channel so we're gonna get all this cleaned up we're gonna go ahead and inspect the crawl space now see what that looks like see a uh, rat trap there Ooh, look at this one. This has been activated, so we know that there's some potential activity. Nope. So we know we have rodents underneath because that's been activated for sure. So we're going to get under there and uh, inspect. Ah! Oh, I just snapped a trap on my leg. Ah, oh, dang it. Right there. Oh, man. Can't believe I got hit by a rat trap. <laughs> See all that rubbish, you guys? I don't like crawl spaces like this at all. Did you get hit by a trap? Because I heard you scream. 
Yeah, I was I was crawling on my left leg and it activated this. Crazy. A lot of debris under there. Probably gonna want to take some of that out. Got the water heater room all cleaned up. Top of the heater too. So much better. All right, well, it's been a long day. We're wrapping up for the day. All the attic completely decontaminated. We're ready to catch some uh, rats, hopefully. We have all of the bait stations, the twin traps set to go. Right here, one corner. We have uh, another bait station over here. We have one in the attic. We have our uh, twin traps set, ready to go. So I think this is gonna be another success. All right, so we've gotta go up in the attic, check for that smell and check for traps to see if there's any more activity up here. All right, first off, there is zero smell of any signs of rodent urine or rodent smell. It is absolutely, it smells just like an attic now. That's what's great about this Puro Cleanse as a final decontamination, guys, is it literally off gases and gets into all of the remaining insulation, all the wood substrate, and pulls out any of the uh, VOC. So super, super happy with the results. Now let's go ahead and check the remaining traps that were left up here to see if there's any rodents. I'm not smelling them. It's a good sign that we haven't caught any, but let's just do our final inspection here. All right, we're checking our uh, twin trap here. We don't have any activity here, which is really, really good news. All right, so if you remember this runway here, we set one up right here. No activity whatsoever here, which is good news. How's that one looking over there, Dave? Perfect, yeah, it's, it hasn't been activated. Again, no signs of activity, no defecation. Nice and clean. All right, now that we've cleared the attic, now we can get a little muddy and check the outside perimeter traps to see if we have any activity. Zero over here. Let's go to the next one. We got one. Hey, Jim. Yeah. We got one. No way. Yep. The backyard, did it have any? No, backyard doesn't have any. Didn't have any, huh? The front didn't either? The front one didn't either. I'm gonna pull this one out of here. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. Yeah, that's a long tail there. That's a big boy. That's what I love about our uh, twin trap. There's no smell, it keeps everything contained. All right, well, hopefully we get some more. There's a live rat right there. Yeah, I'm gonna fish him out of here, Jimmy. Okay, fish him out of here. This one came out of the gutter. Well, that'll wrap up this video here, guys. One big lesson learned here. So if you're hiring a rodent company and they're decontaminating the attic, remove the attic, decontaminate really well, but don't rush by putting the insulation back. Allow some time. There could be rodents that are scared. Just like in this case here, you need to trap. As soon as you stop the activity, then that is the time to do the insulation and now you'd be in good shape. Leave the comments down below guys and let me know your thoughts. Hit that subscribe button and as always, we'll see you on the next one.